Uh, hi, I'm Patrick Dudek. Uh, apparently, I'm alone. Uh, I'll try to comment this game. Uh, although, I'm uh, hi, I'm Patrick Dudek. Sorry about that. I got some echo from my own uh, game table. So uh, so far, just and go as. Uh, Infiltrated uh, the Booz uh, uh, camp with uh, a horse and a dog, and is now <coughs> threatening to take the dog. Apparently, uh, Boo has left uh, the position control. He's, he's tried to counter attack on uh, the uh, west wing. But uh, it didn't work because uh, Chesango's attack is so powerful on the east wing. He's completely taken over uh, the, the F6 trap. And... Uh, I'm guessing uh, the the elephant, the silver elephant, will have to retreat very quickly, or uh, it will mean uh, the loss of many pieces. Yes, yeah, so there, there's a clear uh, gold advantage 
uh, at this point of the game. I see cl uh, clearing is coming. Hopefully, you will uh, have something more interesting to say than uh, yours truly. Hi, clearing. Hello. How are you doing? A little bit displeased. Uh, why? I had assumed the alarm clock I was using to wake myself uh, for this game was uh, set correctly. Uh, it turned out that it was actually an hour behind the current time. So I'm uh, quite late to the game. Oh, I see. Uh, so you overslept somewhat. Well, it's no problem. Uh, the game is still uh, at its beginning, but it could precipitate because uh, Chess and Go has made a, very, uh, a, a breach into uh, into the server wall. So, uh, maybe you could comment a little on that position? Well, looks like a very interesting position. Uh, Gold has managed to get some considerable control over the F6 trap. Uh, it looks like he's already captured a dog there, in addition, in exchange for two rabbits and another rabbit capture he has made himself. Uh, I would be, I would definitely be worried as Gold about that H5. Silver rabbit, that H, that G4 silver dog, gold in advancing pieces on the east to take control over F6. His defenses around the F, G, and H files are very thin. So, if left unattended, those that dog, that rabbit could very quickly become very dangerous. Goal attackers. It might be reasonable for Gold to just immediately move his horse to G5 or his dog from D3 to G3 or H3. Okay, it looks like he has opted to move his horse to G5, which is attacking the silver dog and basically completely stopping any hope of that dog becoming a strong goal attacking piece. But in doing so, it is basically abandoning the F6 attack. Well, at least Boo has managed to slow down uh, Chesango's attack a little. Yeah, definitely left off a lot of pressure on the position that Bold 
had to retreat his horse from F7. So, uh, clearing, what time is it there? Uh, local time, it is uh, 6.09 in the morning. 6.09, so it's uh, six hours uh, less than here. Six hours earlier than uh, in Europe or in France. If you listen closely, you may hear the native fauna of dawn here. Well, and if you listen uh, here, you can hear the birds outside chirping in the trees. It's a very nice, nice afternoon. So, after this 19G, retreating the threatening gold camel, Silver has opted to defend his dog on the 19F post play, uh, since I had that. I'm a little bit surprised that Silver pushed the gold dog forward toward the F6 trap instead of pushing it back into the F3 trap. And the gold, that will probably help the gold elephant find a more active square than uh, G6. Well, you know, by helping gold either uh, get a proper attack around F6 again, or helping the gold elephant leave through the F6 trap instead of having to get his horse out of the way, and then move through the G5 square and retreat along the fifth rank which would take quite a few more steps. Uh, maybe uh, the idea behind pushing the dog uh, instead of... Uh, pushing the dog uh, um, upward instead of downward uh, is to take uh, over the F3 trap. Maybe. I don't know. Yes, and it is also leaving gold with the one defender less around the F3 trap. But it's not clear that even with the gold dog on F5 instead of F3 that Silver will actually be able to take over the F3 trap. Well, one rabbit uh, in the trap is better than two uh, around the trap. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised by this move from gold. It is capture rabbit, but it does allow a pretty powerful silver goal attack by the played move. 
Uh, I was looking at this earlier, I wasn't sure what to think of it. Uh, this isn't a fatal goal attack by any means, but it's definitely uncomfortable. That uh, Silver Dog does very quickly become uh, an active attacking beast now. Yeah, and uh, Silver Rabbit uh, definitely needs to be taken care of because it's now threatening goal. And it's not so easy to take care of. Uh, just blocking it with uh, Rabbit on H3 is uh, totally ineffective. Uh, leaving, say, only the main trouble is uh, stopping that Rabbit while not giving up control over F3 is not the easiest thing in the world. It will probably be necessary to stop the Rabbit from behind with the horse or something similar. Obviously, although the Silver Camel is hanging on H6, Gold doesn't have time to take it. Of course, it would be suicide to take the uh, Camel right now. I'm definitely surprised by this uh, relatively long thing from Gentle Joe that he's spending two minutes thinking up a reply to this move. Uh, this is definitely the kind of really sharp, really tactical attacking move that uh, I would not want to play 20G without already having thought up a reply for. So, uh, in your opinion, uh, what would be the best defense against that rabbit? Chess and Girl seems to be taking a lot of time on this move. I'm not sure what the best defense is, but I'm pretty sure that placing the gold horse on G on H5 and the gold rabbit on oh, it looks like uh, Chess and Go just played exactly the move I had queued up on the expert window. I was going to say I'm pretty sure that uh, placing the gold horse on H5 and moving the gold rabbit from G to to either H2 or H3 was pretty much necessary to avoid just giving up an immediate goal. And the remaining two steps are uh, sensible looking, moving over two more pieces with which to attempt to defend. Maybe now, Maybe now silver silver. Silver. sorry. Yeah, I was just about to mention that uh, there is a possibility now that Silver can bring his horse over to the E3 square, uh, establishing some sort of frame on the F3 trap. Uh, this would require all four steps. It would be giving up the camel and the F6 trap. Uh, yes, okay, uh, I'm sorry, but I was uh, just about to suggest that move from Silver, except uh, that I would have moved uh, the cat instead of the rabbit, but uh, it seemed to me that uh, pushing that uh, dog uh, at that place uh, where it can't move
Yeah, that's that's definitely a little uncomfortable for gold to have to deal with. More so because he can't move his elephant out along the 5th and 6th rank. Uh, moving the elephant out along the 7th rank is going to take quite some steps. Uh, he doesn't really have the option of keeping it where, he, where it is. Uh, in order to be able to do that, he would have to generate goal threats of his own. But the only way he could, but the only rabbit with which he could create a goal threat right now would be the rabbit sitting on the G4 square. And uh, to create a goal threat with that rabbit, he would actually have to push the uh, H4 silver rabbit closer to the goal line, which would be, uh, in my opinion, a very dubious decision. So now I'm wondering a little bit uh, whether Gold should want to attack in the west with his camel. I would be a little bit hesitant to do that. Or as in the plane move, uh, bring his camel over to the east to attempt to reassert control along the G file, remove that very annoying G3 silver dog. If he could establish a camel holding dog hostage bound with its camel on G3, the silver dog on H3, even though the silver dog could actually just advance along the H file further to avoid an immediate threat, that would allow the G4 gold rabbit to advance. It would then allow gold to start his own goal attack and make his elephant into a more active piece.
you never know, gold is, is uh, up an entire dog materially. This is still something of an unclear position. Uh, gold is uh, positionally in quite a bit of a knot here with his elephant on the G6 square, and it's going to take him a while to undo that still. I like the played move 23G. Um, just once again, going for that idea of bringing home something to the F3 trap and establishing a more proper defense. So, uh, I'm sorry I had to leave for a few uh, minutes. No problem. Twenty three S is definitely not what I was expecting. And advancing the rabbit to H uh, seven is perhaps intending to unfreeze the silver can. Hold on. Yes, and that seems uh, the reason. Instead, I'm not really sure why Silver is in a hurry about unfreezing the Silver Camel. I would expect it to be unfrozen naturally the moment the Gold Elephant decides it wants to leave the G6 square. You think the, the Gold Elephant will have to, to leave that square soon? I think it would probably that square on its own over the next few moves just to uh, actually 
resume the attack on F6 or otherwise become uh, active on the rest of the board because uh, with no advanced rabbits on that half of the board right now, it isn't doing terribly much on G6. Uh, it seems uh, Silver is missing a dog. Yes, Gold is materially up a dog here. Uh, it's becoming increasingly clear that uh, Silver might not have quite enough compensation for being down a dog. It was definitely awkward uh, several months ago with the Gold Elephant on G6 not doing terribly much. So uh, my first prompt after seeing the played 24S is uh, how to retreat the golden hamel. Well, it can just be retreated to uh, B3 immediately by moving up to the F4 rabbit. I'm uh, not sure if that's actually the best move though. Silver might be able to stir up some mischief around the F3 trap after that. I'm not sure. I guess the other question should be, uh, can Gold afford to ignore the uh, threats against his camel and against the C2 cat? Well, uh, camel is a large amount of material, so uh, I don't see a way for Gold to create strong enough threats to do so. Unless I suppose he threatens his, the silver dog in F3 and then subsequently threatens the silver horse in F3.
And sure enough, it is exactly what Gold just did on move 25G. Opting to go for the counter threats. Uh, I think this does lose, probably lose some small amount of material in exchange for uh, as if Silver wants to uh, attack the Gold Camp Pole. But it does so in exchange for um, making the Gold Elephant uh, active and central again. Well, if Silver attacks uh, the camel uh, that loses a, a horse immediately, and then uh, it can lose also uh, either a dog or a cat. So I'm not sure uh, if uh, it would be worth it. Well, the capture of the G2 dog on the uh, following move on uh, 27G, I guess, would then uh, leave uh, the E5 gold dog hanging in F6 if after capturing the camel on 26S, Silver moves his elephant south to D5. So in uh, doing so, that would be gold exchanging his camel off at, along with his dog for a horse and a dog, which is not the greatest of exchanges by any means. So I suspect that actually gold would actually, instead of taking the obvious route by capturing the dog on 27G, choose to save his own dog from being captured. Uh, essentially not trading off the hostage dog on G2 for his active central E5 dog. <laughs> after which uh, we would wind up in a position where uh, Chesango would have a horse and a dog for his camel, but uh, he would have quite some space advantage on the east. Uh, his elephant would no longer be uh, out of play on G5 at all. And it looks like that's exactly the line that the players are going for. Uh, the in the 26G, first move of that has just been played to capture the Silver Horse in F3. And exactly as I predicted, uh, as soon as the play move 25G was played, uh, 26S Silver left his elephant on the D5 square specifically to threaten the gold dog in the F6 trap. So that gold dog can be rerouted to the east with the gold elephant moving to F5 just to avoid any threat. And, uh, maybe Gold is thinking of something else to do. Uh, I would definitely not hear as Gold on move 27G capture the Silver Dog, tempting not maybe to exchange another pair of pieces when uh, having a horse and a dog against a camel. Uh, as gold in this position, I would probably just play elephant from E5, I mean dog from E5 to G5, 
elephant from F4 to F5, and slide the rabbit from E4 to F4. Okay, it looks like uh, this is definitely not what I would have played. Uh, it looks weird strategically, but it, it seems to be a, a tactical theme, not a strategical one, with advancing the dog into the center, uh, essentially looking to threaten the F7 silver rabbit, while the silver elephant would take four steps to return to the F3 trap to defend his hostage dog. But I don't think he needs to defend his hostage dog. He can attack the advanced goal, the central dog, with the idea of on the next move, on 28S, uh, just forking that dog between C6 and F6 and uh, forcing a capture that way. Mm -hmm. Uh, the play 27S makes me think that Silver is not considering this idea at all. Uh, the play 27S makes uh, absolutely no sense in the context of intending to fork the gold dog between the two Silver Hump traps. Pulling forward the gold rabbit that, in my opinion, gold probably wanted to advance anyway. So, I really have no idea why I'm at 27. Okay, uh, move 28S, maybe shine some light on the matter. Silver uh, hopping for the aggressive advance on so that uh, makes sense strategically, even though he is also under attack on the east. But it also makes sense in the context of looking to actually exploit that advanced central gold dog and make it into a vulnerability. Uh, essentially looking to prevent the gold horse from advancing to defend C6 if the gold dog is pushed to D6 as a, an additional support for this move.
Uh, just thinking, trying to understand what a gold idea with a t with twenty nine gemas, moving the gold god to d four. Advancing it toward the C6 with the silver horse still basically totally free to work on the A through D files is um, suicidal. And I don't really see why Gold would really want a dog defending around C3 instead of cats. Yes, you know, uh, with Uri Genia once again taking the, the uh, totally fearless route about capturing material, whatever, at all possible. Here, uh, I don't really understand why uh, Gold captured the uh, rabbit immediately. I have, I don't see how Silver could have reasonably defended that rabbit. Uh, that said, I don't think it's a terrible move by any stretch of the imagination. So after the play 30S, it is threatening the rabbit in the C6 trap. I don't see a particularly good defense for that rabbit, I probably wouldn't even bother with it. It's uh, not really worth it to go to a long amount of effort to save that rabbit. What the old might want to do instead is look to prevent that silver rabbit on the A5 square from advancing anywhere. Uh, just bringing over his dog from C2 to A4 would be a quite sturdy defense there. Uh, would basically permanently hold any silver rabbit advances on the A and B files. That said, that sort of move is not immediately necessary. So gold, of course, has other options. He could always, as with the play move, I was going to say, he could always start advancing rabbits in the east, look to get his attack going over there instead. Which is exactly what he played. Now that Silver has no advanced rabbits in the east, Gold can afford to advance his pieces much more quickly, much more efficiently, since he doesn't need to worry about an immediate goal attack resulting from them.
That said, the chosen square for influencing the rabbit is maybe not the best of choices. Because of the play 31s, it's rather annoying to have that rabbit on g5 now. It's actually somewhat in Gold's way. Okay, I'm not sure what happened to fellow commentator Arimakov. The position is increasingly looking uh, pretty good for gold. Although his uh, southwest, his seed street trap defense, and even gold defense in that area, is pretty weak. He does have a space advantage on both wings. 
Next is being down a camel for horse in exchange for two dogs. Is his disadvantage of being down a camel for horse is basically and totally irrelevant. Uh, the difference between that being a camel on the H5 square and that being a horse on the H5 square is uh, pretty minuscule at this point. The plate 33 to me is fairly similar to something I was already looking at, except with a uh, rabbit C1 north step instead of a cat D2 north step as I had been looking at. Uh, I would say that the plate proof is arguably better than with cat D2 north, as the cat on D2 is somewhat more flexible to move over to the A file. Where in this silver inevitably advanced the rabbit's lair. Of course, the horse on G3 is hanging, but this is completely irrelevant to the game because it can't be taken without giving up a goal in one. It's not so clear how to stop Gold's impending attack around the C6 trap without allowing Gold to start an attack around the F6 trap.
and 833S does. Nothing's changed this situation. So, uh, Gold now has options for attacking the C6 track, uh, starting by pushing into the uh, D6 square with his dog. And his remaining two steps, uh, it's not clear what he can do with them on offense, so uh, he may wish to simply spend them on defense. I say moving his cat to the A file, or the only other raw offense steps I saw were exactly as in the played move, advancing the horse or the rabbit in the east. So this is pretty much exactly what I was thinking of. I like this move. And it's really not clear to me that Silver has much of an active plan in this position, other than just charging with his horse and his rabbit down the A file. He could try to bring his elephant over from e6 to b6 to try to capture something in c3, but this is another move that I just don't see going anywhere. It feels to me as though if the gold, if the silver elephant leaves e6, the silver won't have time to capture 
anything in C6, the four need F6 to defend, and the goal at half, the goal will then have. So Silver has made the obvious, uh, don't see how to continue it. If Gold doesn't want to allow any of these shenanigans, he can always move his cat from uh, D3 to B3. I think he can also afford to push into B6 with his horse. And slide his uh, rabbit over from a B, a B6 square, or if he doesn't even need to slide it over from B5, he can just keep it on B5, it's fine where it is. And it begins threatening captures in C6 as well. In addition to that, uh, pushing into the B6 square with the gold horse, of course, pushing the silver cat west to the uh, A6 square would create a gold threat, making it uh, that much harder for silver to find some reasonable way to maintain his position there. But gold is opting for the much more defensive option that I mentioned of bringing the cat to B3. And intending to get his second horse involved over there. This is uh, definitely the much more conservative angle. Uh,
And I don't see no active plan for Silver other than attempting to pursue that goal attack around C3. But that goal attack around C3 just isn't going anywhere. Silver in Gold Canal on 36G, try uh, basically the same thing I mentioned last move, 35G. I'm spending three steps pushing into B6 with his horse on C5. And then he can spend his last step uh, moving his rabbit out of the C3 trap. And that is exactly what Gold has played now on move 36G. And after this move, uh, Silver position is just completely toast, in my opinion. That said, and I believe Jessica also had a very promising position at one point in the previous game of this championship, and then I managed to uh, lose that position. So I will not offer a preemptive congratulations to him just yet. And of course, I'm uh, taking into account the possibility that I may have uh, overlooked something. So, move 36 as it was played, while I was looking at the game history to confirm my suspicion, I have just been suggesting something similar to this for the past several moves of just trying to uh, just uh, capture some pieces around c6. But now gold can attack around f6 instead. For example, he can uh, push the F7 rabbit east with his dog on E7 and then advance both his horse and his rabbit along the E file to create a very strong goal threat, uh, so strong that, uh, goal, that I believe that Silver can't afford to ignore it at all. Uh, as Silver spends those three steps, to, spends three steps then on 37 has to capture the gold horse on the b6 square, then he's just going to lose on the next move uh, by a goal in two.
That would be uh, the kind of uh, quick attacking move that's uh, often in my style in this kind of position. But uh, we'll see if Sengal chooses to go for that immediate goal attack around the F6 trap, or if he takes a, a more conservative approach by just defending himself around the C6 trap and looking to make progress there instead. which he could manage by, for example, moving his d5 dog and pushing into c7 square with it. Okay, so we have confirmation in the chat room from uh, A, from Quad A, presumably using his uh, bot, bot Quad, to verify that this position is a goal in three. I will ask, is the goal in three move what I have already mentioned, of uh, pushing the uh, silver rabbit east from F7 with the E7 dog and advancing pieces along the E file? Of course, that's not the only strong attacking move that uh, Gold has. Looks like Gold has uh, opted for something else. This isn't really a huge surprise to me. Okay, uh, Quad A mentioned in the chat room that one of the goals in three was indeed Rabbit F7 East, Dog E7 East, Rabbit E5 North, Horse E4 North, what I had already suggested which I suggested him just because it was such a strong strategic goal attacking move. Without really looking into the tactics, uh, unfortunately something that I tend to do a lot while commentating, uh, focusing on the general concepts at hand and uh, often missing the uh, obvious, obvious tactical aspects of it. But unfortunately, the uh, played 37G is not quite as fast of an attacking move. That is to say, uh, well, Silver can still delay the goal for a couple of moves here. Certainly not indefinitely, though.
I guess that should explain why this isn't a goal in three. The, uh, well, the strongest defensive move is fairly obvious, just in the position of sliding wet pieces west along the 7th rank and pushing back the E6, rather. When Gold captures the C7 cat and, say, spends his last step moving his rabbit east from C4 to D4 to create another threat. But then there's an interesting delaying move of 38S as a follow-up of pushing the E7 gold dog west into the gold rabbit's way, just to avoid an immediate follow-up. Uh, maybe that does still allow for a goal on two. But in any case, that line, uh, gold would not be able to force a win by move 39G. But the play 37S uh, was just a blunder, allowing me to in one instead. So, uh, go has already joined the chat room. Uh, remember the, remembering, of course, that the games are delayed by 18 minutes. So, uh, huge congratulations to Chesengo for, once again, winning the World Championship Tournament. I believe this is his fifth win, uh, meaning that he has won half of the World Championship tournaments that have been held so far, this being the tenth one. Hello? Oh, hi. Are you here for a post-game interview? All right, congratulations on winning your fifth World Championship Tournament. Uh, that's quite a collection of certificates you must have now. 
I was saying, uh, yeah, sorry, I had some mic trouble and, and trouble to get into the studio. I, I hope it's all right now. Uh, yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, what were your general impressions on this game? Uh? Well, I thought I was doing good for yeah, most of the game. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not really sure where the, the turning point was, but I'm, I, I think I felt confident the whole way. Yeah, so fine. I mean, uh, weren't behind at all for the entire period I was watching you, which uh, started at around uh, move 17, uh, due to um, a clock malfunctioning on me. <laughs> oh, too bad. Um, yeah, yeah. When I managed to catch her around F6, that was uh, uh, that was big. Um, yeah, b before that, it was pretty unclear yet. And then, uh, of course, after around move 33 to 34, the position was uh, uh, Silver was basically in a huge knot that he couldn't possibly get out of, so at that point it was pretty clear. Yeah, I had too many pieces. Um, uh, I thought I maybe had made a, a mistake when I when I realized Silver might capture my camel, but yeah, I've got too many pieces, and even with the extra camel, it's not it's not really helpful for Silver. Um, the camel ends up on h5 doing, well, not much besides blockading a rabbit, so it's, um, yeah, too many pieces after that. Yeah, I'm saying uh, for most of the time after that uh, camel for a horse and dog exchange that uh, the silver's extra camel was uh, basically meaningless. But it may as well be a horse on h5 because it's not doing anything on h5. Yeah, uh, yeah. At, at, during the opening, trading a, a horse and dog for a camel is kind of neutral, or maybe very slightly better for the side which uh, captures horse and dog. But it's it's pretty neutral. But and here I was capturing a dog which was hostage, so it might uh, appear bad. But yeah, at that point with so many pieces traded, it was uh, it was more than enough. Well, uh, yeah, it helped that you also already had an extra dog before the exchange, so it was a uh, camel for a horse and two dogs. Yep. Uh, I was not here to watch the opening, so I don't really know what to ask about that. Uh, so I'll just look at the generic, how did you think you handled the opening? Um, sorry, say that again. So I'll just go with the generic. How do you think you handled the opening? Well, I liked my position throughout, but it was uh, pretty tense. Um, I, I thought I was doing good when I, when my camel got into c4 after move 9g, uh, but actually the horse hostage that I get is not good, and. Um, uh, I think maybe I made a mistake with uh, 11G. Yeah, with 11G. I thought getting my dog out of C3 was uh, would make the the hostage very good, but actually it wasn't it wasn't great. Um, so maybe I shouldn't have traded rabbits, but uh, moved my elephant over to F5 and then captured the rabbit on F3. I'm not sure. Yeah, and even if uh, the uh, silver rabbit can be saved on F3, uh, yeah, that looks a bit stronger than what you actually played. Yeah, I didn't want the silver elephant to move to B4 on the next move, um, so, so I needed my dog out of the way. Um, even moving the dog to D3 was not enough because the elephant can still go to B4, and I, if, if the C5 horse is not there any longer, then I cannot capture the horse with my camel because it. Uh, I would just lose the camel afterwards, so I really wanted to get my dog really far away from C3, but um, uh, that probably wasn't necessary. Yeah, 
Yeah, afterwards, I guess things uh, started to get a little bit awkward for you uh, once you had that extra dog. Uh, thinking to around move uh, 21 at S, where your elephant got on the G6 square and didn't really have such an easy way to work itself out of there. Uh, I was saying during the game that that's a pretty awkward position for you, probably not that bad, but uh, that maybe still had some compensation for the dog, but uh, you handled the situation quite smoothly. Oh yes, that was very frightening. I, I hadn't seen the move 20S, I uh, hadn't realized capturing that rabbit would allow this um, goal attack. Um, yeah, I, I have enough pieces to clog up, sing, to, to clog up things, and um, my rabbit on G4 doesn't allow um, too much room to maneuver for silver. If my if my G4 rabbit can advance to G5, then it's a, a strong goal attack for me. So um, yeah, it's frightening, but uh, yeah, it holds. Yeah, I think I was saying uh, during the game that uh, that 20s is the kind of strong tactical attacking move that uh, I wouldn't want to play move 20g without having already thought of a response for uh, during your uh, whole two minute think on move 21g. Yeah, I, I just didn't realize the move 20s was possible, so uh, it uh, delayed the, the headache. But uh, yeah, it's always a headache to to deal with that. All right, I don't really have uh, much else to ask. So congratulations once again. Yes, thanks, and uh, congrats to Boo for the strong run. He almost won in his uh, first year, so that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. I think next year he will be uh, very, very, very uh, frighteningly good, and uh, yeah, that's going to be tough next year. All right, well, uh, this is clearing, uh, signing off on um, the commentary for the 2013 World Championship final game.